I am finally back. I know it's been like forever or too long. And guess what? Like all my cars have issues and I need to fix them all. Like all of them. That one. This one. That one. You kind of see the hoods open. <laughs> Cause it uh, like broke down on the side of the road a little bit ago. <sighs> Anyway, joys of car ownership. So uh, today we are working on the wife's X5. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah, mm-hmm, see? Awesome German engineering. And uh, I got this error. It says uh, coolant isn't reaching temperature. I'll put it down below what the actual error that I'm getting is. But there's two things you can do. Um, that could be causing this, which is uh, replace the actual uh, coolant temp sensor, which I'm going to be doing today. I'll show you guys how to do it because there's like no videos on this on the internet or I can't find them. One of those two. Anyway, I will go ahead and show you guys how to do it. And if this doesn't work, I will be replacing the thermostat, which is like, like somewhere down here somewhere. I don't know. There's the check engine light. And basically what I'm seeing is the car isn't getting up to temperature even if you drive it several miles. Also what I'm seeing is there's a the fan when you first start up in the morning the fan just goes balls to the wall full bore 100% and it just it car doesn't ever come to come temperature it always stays at 140 um, later on throughout the day it actually the fan does kick off and it starts acting a little more normal but the temperature doesn't ever get really above like this little line right here um, which is probably around 180 now BMWs usually get a little warmer than that but uh, um, that's what I'm seeing. So the first thing we're gonna do is just change out that temp sensor, see if that's actually the problem, which I do not think is a problem. And then what we're gonna do is, I have an order the thermostat, and we'll just replace that. It's one of those two things, which again, I'm thinking it's the thermostat. And I've never seen a video on any of this stuff, so I'm gonna video it and put it online just so you guys have it. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on it. Just for a quick reference on where the temp sensor is, it's actually really easy to find. Unless you don't know where it's at. Um, see these three cables right here? It's literally right underneath it. So all you have to take off is this container right here. Move these cables over and you can see the brass spinning right there. It's right here. I moved them over, I was able to pull it right out, move the connector in there, and put it on. Which, I'll show you that process right now. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the negative terminal on this battery. If you don't know where your battery is at, um, it is like right here. Like underneath this plastic piece. So anyway, I think these are like 10 millimeter, 8 millimeter. So we are going to remove this case. It's pretty windy today. I hope that's not picking up too much wind noise. All right. Let's keep all these together. So there's a total of five of these things. Eight millimeter bolts. I can kind of see what the battery looks like. Cool. There, probably some wind noise. Anyway, that looks like a 10 millimeter bolt, take this off, and that'll disconnect the power. Okay. A 
wrap that in a cloth so it doesn't touch anything. All right, we should not have power. All right, so taking off the air box, that totally wasn't needed. I thought it was down there. It isn't, it's like right here. So it's right here, right in the front. So after you take off that and you take off this, you have access to it right here. So you have to push that thing down and then unscrew it. So your temperature sensor is right there. That is your oil pressure sen uh, sending unit. That is your coolant. So there you go. I'm going to take that off right now. All you do is you'll see this little metal deal here. You literally push that down while it's on the connector and you wiggle it out. Fairly simple. This is the part I got from AutoZone. Right there. And it looks like that. And it fits. Always a good time. Well, let's find a socket that go over this. Okay. Um, the socket that'll fit this is a 22. I only have it in my um, my air tool socket. So hopefully, I have enough room to get it out. Okay, this is what this one looks like. This is what the new one looks like. And it wasn't that tight on there. So when you're putting this thing on here, you do not crank it down. Hand thread it first. You can kind of see the new one's installed now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up, put the connector back on, and go from there. Okay, and literally this just snaps right back on. Okay, it's back on there, it clips on there. Now we just gotta put the stuff back together. Got this thing back on there. We got that out on there. Now it's time to hook the battery back up. Let's go start the sucker up. All right, after giving the car roughly a week, after changing the temp sensor, um, I do know that that did not fix the issue. So you guys know that the temp sensor for my situation was not it. It was a cheap, like $16 part. I figured I'd go cheap route, see if that resolved it. And if not, I will go ahead and find out what the actual problem is um, with the car. Um, I did take it down, I had the codes right on it. The codes that came up are very non-descriptive. Um, I didn't go to a BMW dealership, maybe they have better um, code readers and stuff like that, but the t general ones that you can buy did not come up with anything that helps. Also, I couldn't reset the, the codes on the car in the first place, so that's kind of irritating. Anyway, so that being said, um, I will be getting my uh, 
thermostat here in the next week or so. Actually, it should be this week, in the next couple days. I'll change it out, I'll do a video on it, and I'll post it up um, the next week or so. That way you guys can see how to do the thermostat as well. Um, other than that, if you like this video, please uh, like and subscribe. If you have any comments about for a 2015 BMW and how to reset the codes in it, let me know. Obviously, unhooking the battery on it does not work. Um, also, uh, general code readers don't do it. If there's a special BMW one that you need, let me know. Maybe I'll buy it. Other than that, um, until next time, I enjoy making these videos. I know it's been a while, but uh, I will be kicking these videos back up again. Uh, I still have an Integra to fix, and ah, the GMC is fine. I just gotta reload the AC, and there's a I have dye in it right now. There's a slow leak somewhere, and we don't know where it's at. So I'll bring it along for that trip too. Anyway. Uh, until next time, I will see you guys later.